Pope Francis of the Catholic Church calls for the establishment of a new world order following the pandemic. The Pope believes that things will never be the same in a post-pandemic world and has again called for the establishment of a new world order. It seems to me that he's more involved with politics than he's involved with the salvations of people's souls. Now, in a new book titled God in the World to Come, Pope Francis reiterates his case for the Great Reset. The book-length interview with journalist Domenico Agasso is scheduled for release in Italian on Tuesday, tomorrow that is. Breitbart reports that after the coronavirus pandemic, no one today can afford to rest easy. That's what the Pope declares in the lengthy extract from the book published by Vatican News. He said the world will never be the same again, but it's precisely within this calamity that we must grasp those signs which may prove to be the cornerstones of reconstruction. He states, let's all keep in mind that there is something worse than this crisis, the drama of wasting it. We cannot emerge from a crisis the same as before. We either come out better or we come out worse. Now, the thing is that we see those these uh, elites buying up, for example, what uh, Bill Gates is doing. He's buying up, I think he owns already 18% of the United States agricultural land. Please support my Patreon channel since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. My Patreon channel will have five different videos from my YouTube channel every day. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Why is he buying up where others are saying there's going to be a great reset and we will not own anything? So, we can heal injustice by building a new world order based on solidarity, studying innovative methods to eradicate bullying, poverty, and corruption, the Pope says, all working together, each for their own part, without delegating and passing the buck. This new world order will be based on eradicating inequalities attending to the environment, the Pope affirms. He says we can no longer blithely accept inequalities and disruption of the environment, the path to humanity's salvation passes through the creation of a new model of development which unquestionably focuses on coexistence among people in harmony with creation. You can imagine what that means. Well, obviously, it means uh, culling the world population, right? As a path towards a solution, Francis points towards young people involved in ecological movements. He said, if we don't roll up our sleeves and immediately take care of the earth, with radical personnel and uh, political choices, with the economic green turn by directing technological developments in this direction. Sooner or later, our common home will throw us out the window, he insists. The Pope also asserts his conviction the world needs to be healed from the dominant speculative mentality to be reestablished with the soul in order to reduce the gap between those who have access to credit and those who do not. Christians and people of goodwill should choose which enterprises to support based on four criteria, he says. He proposes these. This is inclusion of the excluded, promotion of the least, the common good, and care of creation. Right now, it's a matter of rebuilding from the rubble, the Pope says, a task that involves those in government as well as the rest of the population. He says it's time to remove social injustice and marginalization, if we seize the current trial as an opportunity, we can prepare for tomorrow under the banner of human fraternity, to which there is no alternative because without an overall vision, there will be no future for anyone. Part of the Great Reset also entails an end to the arms race, he adds. He says it's no longer tolerable to continue to manufacture and traffic in arms, expending huge amounts of capital which should be used to treat people and save lives. Against this planetary discord that's nipping the future of humanity in the bud, we need political action that is the fruit of international harmony, he declares. He urges for an end to short-sighted nationalism and other forms of political selfishness in favor of multilateral, multi, multilateral solutions. So that's why he's, of course, for open borders. And one of the reasons why, you know, the flooding of Europe with uh, illegal migrants. Uh, maybe he should take them up in uh, the Vatican. Anyway, this is uh, by Neam Harris on News Punch. Please uh, leave your comments and thank you so much for your support.